pinfish down there chewing on it. Just ease right on up to that bar and stake her down with the talon and yep. see what we can do. Catch another one on the back side rolling off of this fallen tide. There's one right here, right here. Ooh, just a good one too. Right by his nose. He's he got it, yep, he went. He turned on it. Did he? Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Sight fishing big old black drum. That is cool, right off the bar. Usually these bars are a whole lot clearer, but this big full moon tide that we're on has really got the sand stirred up, making it harder to see these fish, so we're having to work a little harder today. It's about the dirtiest I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, this is a mess. Oh, I think he's got to round it. I think he's free. Get back, get back. No, he got to round it. They're just hanging out behind the boat. Down on the bottom. <laughs> he got a big enough head to him to go whatever he wants to. Oh, there ain't much manhandling this thing. Not, not yet, anyway. No, he's. Their tail is a foot wide. You know, they just flap it one time and swim off. I don't know if he's a five footer or not, but he's a good fish. <laughs> he's, the, he's the size you've been talking about. Well, that 76 pounder was 67 inches. I gotta go around the front so now. Almost six foot. up in a normal spot. Oh, yes. Feelers on the bottom of their chins when they grunge around in that stuff. And the barbels. You know, everybody always asks me, what size leader do you like to use? And I always say, you know, make it just a little bit bigger than the biggest fish that you intend to catch that day because <laughs> like a black drum here. Oh yeah. I mean, you, you tell me there's what? Five, six foot. Oh, sure, yeah, there's to get five, six foot out here. So that's why I like a long leader, because a lot of times on a black drum and redfish, their tails. Tail slapping it. Yeah, they get a bone that sticks out the top of their tail, and it can sit there and wear down on your line. We've so. lost a million tarpon that way, reaching up and tail slapping that line and popping you off. Good piece of Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. You don't lose as many fish. See the remora stuck to his belly? Oh, yeah. He jumped all over that crab, didn't he? Yep, he actually was stuck like he was leaving, and then he must have caught a caught a swift of it and wheeled around there and it's cool you can watch them because their gills pop when they suck that thing in that's neat man they just tug and tug and tug i know those ones we catch over where i live they'll stay 10 feet away from the boat uh -huh. and you cannot get them it's in i like this water. guy i mean i think he's about ready get up in that plate Eel. And watch that, don't let him break your wrist. Oh, I know it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's a little heavier than that. Yeah, I'd say that's a grow. Look, he's got spots too, just like that other one did. You know what? It'd be cool if you held that fish <laughs> <laughs> right up underneath my fingertips if you want to, and I'll just drop him on. You ready? Nope. Ah, holy mm. smokes. They got a grip, don't they? Yeah, they do. Those big old lips right there, man. Just that lines around his tail there. Ah, there you go. Right here from just north of Homosassa, big old black drum, big old ugly fish. Let me show you something cool on these things, how they can smell so good. Lay them down here. These olfactory glands they have right under their eye here, and there's two of them on each side. There's one here and one here, and that's how they can smell so good. Let me show you something else Billy was talking about here, and that's the their crushers down that they crush those oysters with. Right down there, wow. Yeah, things like two big old crushing balls, you know. Anything that goes through them, they just kind of roll them together. And You ever had to unhook one from down there? Um, no, nope, I use circle them, hooks. So. You should let them keep them if they do. Yeah, they get it that deep as theirs. Well, there we go. They're getting bigger. Yep. Let's see if we can get one about 60 pounds. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing. I'm going to let this dude go. Oh. Uh. That one right there. <laughs> that's a big fish too. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's bigger than the last one. Oh yeah. Nice baby. big fish. 